All right, folks. Today we're going to do a giveaway on the uh, uh, magic tag. The one I bought, the short barreled one. I bought it to test on my new mobile G3. Thinking maybe the longer cable was interfering. So I got this. And it didn't work for me at all on my mobile. It just went absolutely bonkers. It started opening windows and it even tried to dial a phone number out of nowhere. And I'm like, well, there's either no shielding on the back of this piece of crap, or uh, I did have to send it out and get the USB C port repaired a few months back. Maybe the side pressure on the USB port, uh, maybe. Maybe that's a, a defect on this phone that shouldn't have been repaired, but totally replaced. Uh, we'll never know. But if you happen to have one and you use a case, you don't want to use a case to have this. You'll find out you don't need the charging port. I mean, this phone gets good enough battery life to get me through a day. And I can throw it on a... Or I would, if I could... If this uh, little magic tag had worked, I'm going to take it out of the box here and I'll show you it. Nice short cable. You just hook it up, plug it in, and I'll show you how easy it is to do with a phone that doesn't have a case. Uh, this phone. The phone we're shooting on. What? How do you do that? It's a little metal bag. Blah, 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 blah. Clear that seal. You'll see. And then, so we're gonna also, so we're gonna kind of be a follow up to the last video I did on you know, shrinking your files down. Obviously, I shoot everything at 720p because I don't need bragging rights going, oh, I shoot everything at 1080p. Like, I, no, I don't. And I don't definitely, absolutely hate to shoot. And something that puts out dot 3gp there's just no excuse for that this phone puts out mp4 anyone who edits a video and, and, i mean if you're just gonna slap it together and put it on the web that's great if you want to do all the editing on your dinky ass smartphone that's great but if you want to you know do some real editing in like something like open shot where you can make pictures and stuff pop in and out and things happen and animate and slice and edit. Uh, well, dinky ass smartphones aren't the way to go. I know, I'm probably insulting some folks out there who love to shoot on their smartphone and they think, oh, is it too complicated to learn open shot? That is, well, it's, uh, I, I don't pretend to be an expert, but I am going to show you using the new mobile uh, G3 with an external mic, my uh, uh, Paladu. One I got, the one with the super cool case that I tested a while back. And uh, I'll show you what you would do if you, say, went on vacation and you're staying at some hotel somewhere and, uh-oh, I forgot my damn charging brick, my super fast charger. Uh-oh. Well, if you had this thing in your bag, yeah, just, yeah, it's that thick. Dr. Way, you'd pull this out, slip it under the case, 5.8, 5.7, 5.6, even 5.5 inch. And it's not going to get in the way of the fingerprint reader, and provided your phone has decent shielding and a good USB-C port, you learn after a few days, if your phone gets good battery life, one amp at five volts, one amp is more than enough to get your phone charged while you go to sleep. Um, who knows, maybe one of them guys who always brings along a wireless charger, because you have a phone with real wireless charging built in. Perfect. You can use this on the same wireless charger. Even if it does put out super high amps, it's not going to matter. This will only 
do five volts at one amp. So that's all I got uh, from this section. We're going to switch over to the mobile G3 and uh, continue on from there. Now we're going to stitch the two together in Androvid. I'm going to compress the whole thing down, kind of a follow-up to yesterday's thing. And from there, I will render it in OpenShot, which will make it huge again. God knows why. Oh, I don't know what it's adding. Uh, I suspect it's the audio codec, the MP3 stereo. And when you go into handbrake, which you have to do on a real PC, not a dinky ass smartphone. Uh, sorry if I'm picking on people, but dinky ass smartphone is a dinky ass smartphone. Let's get to that section next. All right, kids. Here's the second segment. We're shooting this on the new G3. Um, so I know I kept insulting folks probably by calling smartphones dinky ass tiny smartphones well here's a six inch alcatel uh oh and this is your average 22 inch monitor nowadays that's pretty common let's see how big one holy shit how many of those could you fit in there about one two three four i'd say seven okay get the point dinky ass smartphone it's not a real computer never will be don't ever for a moment go i can do anything on it no you can't you can get close but ask any of the pros who shoot videos how many of they just shoot on the smartphone and then send it right up of course they don't they have intros outros they have info they might have tags where they said something wrong. Stuff you probably can do on a dinky ass smartphone, but wouldn't want to. Okay? So, now, what I promised you. So, you've gone on a trip and you've forgotten you got your Axon M with you. Now, obviously, this doesn't have wireless charging. It's got a metal back and no case. Where would you put it? Uh, but you forgot your super fast charger well you could pack this little magic tag away and you could do this for any phone and uh, provided you're smart enough to put a case on it or go through here um it's pretty thin doesn't weigh anything hard to damage you can just cram it in your bag somewhere so we're gonna take it back out of here and hopefully there it is okay now i got this with the short cable because the mobile g3 with the first one it extended up too near the fingerprint reader i thought that was a problem when when it was on it would just go absolutely bonkers when you set it on a wireless charger and so one of two things were wrong either uh new doesn't put any sort of uh, shielding between the back and in case you set it on the wire, wireless charger by accident not even knowing it's one alright so now you're in a pinch you either have to find somebody with a fast charger or you plug this in this is an Axon M this shouldn't charge at all should it but okay Let's check. I plugged it in. I'm just holding it with my fingertips like I did in that video the other day. And we're just set it on here. And boom, we're charging. That's only 5 volts, 1 amp. I know here. Well, my super fast. Well, you didn't bring it with you, dumbass. Let's just say. Maybe you're smart enough you got one of those little round ones. And maybe you got other phones that have real where it was charging on the back uh, okay you can now charge your accent and up or in my case i use it on the alcatel here and i've reached a conclusion 
I don't need the USB-C port. Uh, yeah, sure, I don't have fast charging, but I don't, damn, I don't spend my life on my smartphone. So, uh, I'll get home and I might have 65%. I set it in the wireless charger over there, and a couple hours, it's fully charged. I volts at one amp. Yeah, so don't give me the book charger. I don't care. If you don't have it with you, you ain't got shit. You've got a phone you can't charge because the company was too stupid to put wireless charging on it, even though they're ripping you off for Apple prices. So... We're gonna kind of do this like we did uh, the videos we did yesterday, uh, being hmm. somebody logged into my Pinterest account. That's pretty horrible. I haven't logged into my own Pinterest account in years. Well, hopefully they'll have fun in there. I don't go to Pinterest. Mm -hmm. Seems kind of weird, but the fact of the matter is, we're going to give this little puppy away. Here are the rules. You have to live in the United States. Sorry, I'm not mailing it anywhere else. I can stick this in a padded envelope. EPO, FPO, that's just as good. I will mail it to you. Leave feedback in the description below. Big arrow coming up. Mm -hmm. Read the whole damn description. And, of course, we're going to pick these two sections, uh, put them together in AndroVid on a dinky-ass smartphone, and then we're going to pull them down onto a real PC and we're going to run Handbrake, something you have to have to do compression on. We're going to compress it down, and then we're going to stick it in open shot. We're going to send it up. Yeah the PC when we're done no, or we're going to compress it and then we're going to slap it into open shot and of course open shot will make it huge we don't know why probably take this whole video and it'll turn it from like 25 meg into 890 meg and then we'll go back one more time we'll recompress it when we're done and then we'll upload it to the web Sound good? Sounds good to me. So if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button. Uh, click on the uh, little bell. And uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Any kind of interaction is good. Uh, if you do win, I will tell you the winner in the comments. So check the comments. You do not have to be a subscriber at all. Not a requirement. Not at all. Um, and so, all that being said, you'll have to go to the About page, which you can't usually do on a dinky-ass smartphone. You might have to find a real PC somewhere. You know, laptop, desktop, something with a monitor. And then you can click on the About page from the channel. And the email address will be in there. And once I've told you the winner, email me and uh, uh, I will get the thing in the mail in the next day or so you know because I I'm just gonna stick it in a padded envelope and mail it standard US mail and then I crash in there or break and you're welcome to go ahead and try it out it would behoove you to be one of them people smart enough to use a case and that's all we got for today. Let's go to the outro. Thanks for watching. Like this, share it, and uh, have a great day.